Welcome to clickmyproject.com This project is about detecting the fraud uh, credit card transaction that happens in our day to day life. Like as we all know, the development of uh, e-commerce sites like the Flipkart and Amazon requires a lot of e-transactions. That is an electronic transaction that happens through a uh, credit card or even debit card. So the, our project aims to detect the fraud credit card transaction that happens in our day to day life. So as we all know, electronic commerce systems are being, being uh, developed day by day and the technologies have been increasing as per the development and since uh, nowadays the online purchase uh, has been increased, there is a lot of uh, fraud uh, associated with the increase in technology and the transactions. So and so our product and our project is about detecting the fraud transactions that uh, happens in the day to day life that affects the uh, electronic payment. This is the flow of our project and first we will be loading the data set that is the details of the credit card transactions that is being happening. The details of the data are being loaded as the data set here. The input data is got from the data set and the data are being firstly pre-processed that is in this pre-processing step we will be handling the missing data. Any values, uh, any cell without the values are being replaced or either uh, removed. So after uh, the pre-processing step, uh, there are no null values in the data set. So after pre-processing the data set, the data set is then uh, split into the train and the test set. In this part, the train and test, split, test set are split uh, for training the model and for comparing and testing the model. So in this in this part, the 70% of the data are being uh, set into the train set which is used for training the data set and then 30% uh, of the data are sent into the test set which is used for comparison or evaluation. And after splitting the data set into train and the test set, LGBM that is light GBM classifier is used here as an uh, as a model for evaluation and the LGM, LGBM classifier is based on the decision tree and it also increases the efficiency of the model It all and it reduces the memory usage. It is used here because it has lower loss value so the uh, prediction of the results are accurate. And then we perform the performance analysis part here. In the performance analysis, we will be finding out the value of the accuracy, precision, recall and F measure. Like accuracy is in the terms of the correct number of pre predictions that are made in uh, predicting the fraud uh, credit card transactions. We will now be looking into the running procedure of our process. So I will be running the program first. So here, like for the first thing, like we'll be loading the credit card data set into the uh, into the process, and then after that, we have just printed the first uh, values, first few values of the data set, and then its information. This information consists of how many non-null uh, counts it has and its data types, and then we'll be checking the missing values. In this case, there are no missing values in, in any of the columns, so we won't be uh, handling any missing data here as our data sets are already cleaned. Uh, and then after this, we'll be finding out the outlier fraction uh, function here, which is the length of the fraud card uh, by the length of the normal card. This is outlier fraction here. And so then we have predicted the number of fraud cases and the number of valid cases of credit card transaction that happens. So there are totally 5,876 fraud uh, cr credit cards and uh, 227, sorry, 2,78,931 valid cards here. And then we'll be performing, uh, we'll be splitting the data set into train test and test set. And then we'll be performing the classification report here, which consists of the precision, a recall, F1 score and support. And the ac accuracy of our model is about 98.6 percentage. Here we have used the light GBM machine learning algorithm for prediction. 
and accuracy score of a project is about 98.63% and here is the data frame Here this is our original data sets which consist of the time and the transactions that are happening and finally the amount and its classes. This is the this is the labeling part. Zero is for the normal card and one is about the fraud cards. And, and now we are here we have only the fraud transaction cards and then we have split into the train and the test set this is our train x train data and this is our x test data here and we have performed some prediction and this is our prediction result based on our data set that is being input given us input here and then we'll be plotting on some values that uh, between the real and the fraud data cards here and zero represents the normal that is the uh, real cards real credit cards and one represents a fraud credit cards and using this we can easily identify this part as a data visualization part which is used for easy identification of the values and for easy understanding thank you